How to turn yourself into a Pixar character. Hello my friends, how are you doing? Last time I showed you how to deepfake, this time we changed the complete character. First of all, go to your local install of Stable Diffusion, Automatic 1111. Here is the installation guide for that. Then go to the Image to Image tab and drag your image into this area down here. After you've done this, click here on interrogate. The AI tries to figure out what is in the picture and this will give you a good prompt. Now usually at the end of the prompt it will add an artist name. I will delete that. But you can see here we have a nice description of that character and then at the start of the prompt I write Pixar comma Disney character comma and then the rest of the prompt. Of course read through the rest of the prompt if everything is as you want it to be. Next, we go down here. Now, when you use Euler Ancestral or Euler A, you only need 40 steps or less. So between 20 and 40 steps. So if you have a slow computer, try it with Euler Ancestral. With LMS, I found you get good results with 50 steps. And if you want to use DDIM, you should have at least 70 steps. Now the next step I'm doing here is, and this is pretty important, set the size you want to have. Again, if you have a slower computer, set it to a lower resolution here, not too small because then the results will suffer from that. So here I have a basically square image. And when you move this, you can see that this will give you a preview of how much of the picture is taken. So in this case, I'm going with square. That seems to fit well for a portrait. Now in this box, it says just resize, crop and resize, resize and fill. You want to choose crop and resize because this will cut out that part of the picture and use it. If you have just resize, the image will be squished until it fits that size. So that's not great. Choose crop and resize. Next, we want to go with restore faces. So make a check mark in that box. And then with the scale, you have to test out what works for your picture. Try to set it up like this with GF ski scale for 14 and then denoise strength for 0.75. And then also here the seed, click here on the random, which will set it to minus one and then click on generate. And do this multiple times until you end up with a picture where you like the style. When you find an animation style that you like from these generate tests here, look below the generation and you see here the seed number. So you can copy this over here into that seed field and then play around with the adjustments for the CFG scale and the denoise strength. I would suggest to automate that. So go down here to script and click on X epsilon plot. You can experiment with the CFG scale from the pop down menu and also the denoising setting. In the CFG scale, you can go with full steps or half steps. I usually go with full steps. So you see here, I go from 8 to 12. You can go even further. And then for the denoising, for the first test batch, I go for 0.65 to 0.8 and then a round bracket and write plus 0.05 five and another closing round bracket. So this will add this amount every step. So in this case, you will go 0 0.65, 0 0.7, 0 0.75 and 0 0.8. Click on generate and wait until it's finished. Here you can see my first test batch that I've done with the LMS render method. You can see here the CFG scale going from 10 to 15 and the denoising scale going from 0 0.65 all the way down to 9.5. So I render a lot of images and you can see that the upper images here, the first ones, they are pretty close to the original. So if you want to have a very close likeness, you want to have the denoise scale lower. And then for the CFG scale, you can see that it intensifies at 15, but also that often the eyes and other details are getting a little bit wonky at that stage. So here it still looks good, kind of. But when you go down here, you can see that it gets these crazy fish eyes. Also, you can see here that the higher the denoising is, the less the character has to do with the character in the image. So you can see here, for example, we are losing the sweater. It's a short cocktail dress. And then we have this kind of neck band. 
and here it changes again and also the hair color is changing and this is becoming more and more like a Disney character from the face with the smile and here suddenly we have a complete character so you can see here it's going completely overboard with denoising 0.95 because this is taking almost nothing from the original image. So I find that we have a sweet spot here between 0.65 and 0.7, which means that for the next batch, I wanted to go a little bit closer. So I went from 8 to 12 and from 0.65 to 0.72. And this time I changed it to plus 0.01. And you can see here, this is the result where we have smaller steps in between. As you can see here, the deeper we go with the denoising to 0.72, the more it looks like a Disney character. And here again, this is the exact point where we are losing that kind of shirt that she's wearing and it turns into that cocktail dress and all of these have already rendered in the original size so you can choose any of them and upscale them later on. I also want to encourage you to try out other sample methods. For example, this is Euler A and you can see that we from the start get very different results. When we go down here, again, we get this kind of Disney face, but this time a different kind of face. And we have this cute smile here, the nice nose, the eyes look a little bit strange. The smile here looks a little bit better. But you can see how this X epsilon plot is extremely useful to get the results faster without you having to try every method by hand. Try it out for yourself, post the results in my Facebook group, leave a like if you enjoyed this video and maybe share it with your friends. Thanks for watching and see you soon. Bye! Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah.